the fifth annual First Responders Day is coming up this weekend at the Roanoke Elks Lodge. Yeah, and joining us with what to expect and how you can get involved, we have Marshall Moore and Jim Beatty. You guys, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having thank us. You. So uh, this is the fifth annual event. Right. Tell us a little bit about the event and also how it got started. Yeah. Well, we, we, we started this about five years ago. Um, you know, I don't know how to say it, but the, you know, the, our first responders didn't, weren't getting a lot of good um, PR out there. So we wanted to, just a way to give back and show them that we appreciate them. I think the first year we did about 100 meals, you know, we started off kind of small. Um, and really that first year was kind of funny because um, a lot of our large lodge members didn't really know the event was going on. So they pulled in and they saw about nine police cars around the building and they just turned around <laughs> and left. So, uh, <laughs> they panicked. They yeah, like, they panicked a little bit. Um, <laughs> but since then, you know, last year we did um, about 450 meals total. Wow. We will deliver a barbecue meal to every on-duty policeman, EMS tech, um, the jails, uh, the 911 call centers. Anybody that's working that day will get a hot meal delivered to them. Wow. wow. That's, that's incredible. Yeah. yeah. And then you're also inviting any on-duty police officer or first responders to stop by. Absolutely. Right. Okay. So talk about a little bit of what's happening at the lodge that day. We're going to have a lot going on. Uh, we'll have stuff for the kids, including a bouncy house. We'll have a, a fire truck and a rescue vehicle and a police car there for them to see and ask questions about. Mm -hmm. uh, they'll have a, uh, we'll be serving the meals at the pavilion and they just come up and um, and get their meals. They'll also be given a certificate if they can't participate in the pool that day or anything, that they can come back later on with their families oh, and neat. do that. Okay. Uh, but it's a fun day from 11 to 4. Uh, we feed a lot of people and they have a lot of fun. And if they are off duty, they can bring their families? Is yes, that right? Absolutely. Okay. We'll, just, we'll treat them to a day at the lodge, just mm -hmm. not us. Very That cool. is fun. Yeah, and like you said, you know, families are encouraged to come with their kids because right. then that's a chance for the kids to come up and actually talk to the officers right. and, and ask questions and find out what they do and how they protect the community. Right. Yeah. And get comfortable with them rather than having a fear factor built in. Right. Yes. yes. It's so important. And you all, so you served 450 meals last mm -hmm. year. What's mm -hmm. your goal this year? Oh, break 500. We are going to try to smoke about 400 pounds of pork on that wow. Friday before. Mm -hmm. And we have a ton of lodge members that volunteer for this event. Wow. Um, so we'll be working on it all day Friday and getting ready for Saturday. Yeah, I was going to ask, who's making these meals? It's uh, about five <laughs> or six of us. Yeah. Wow. Five or six of you? That we're, we'll be making cooking all day on Friday, and then we'll probably have 30 to 40 volunteers, if not more, on Saturday morning going out to deliver as well as, as serving the officers when they come up. Yeah. Oh, that's and so cool. What has been the response over these last five years? Very good. It's grown yes. exponentially since yes. it started. Mm -hmm. That's so, really yeah, cool. Yeah, people don't turn away when they no. come to the Elks Lodge now when they see <laughs> the, right. the police right. cars. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, so again, it's Saturday, Saturday. August 4th right. mm -hmm. from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Right. And then you guys are gonna be going out as well mm -hmm. that day. And it's at the Roanoke Elks Lodge and you can find out more information on them at elks.org. Right. All right, gentlemen, thank you so thank much you. for being Thanks here. Tell us all about it. Much.